Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX warehouse updates here at Bastrop, Texas. So I'm back out here at the SpaceX facility here in Bastrop, Texas to try to get an update since the last one I did. Now I've been covering this and the Boring Company about every month for the last several months and the last time I was out here was mid-February so it's time for an update and to see how things are progressing. Now the plan is to get this facility completed at the end of this month and they're well on the way of doing so. In fact the building itself is almost completed. The work now is on the grounds around the building to finish up some of the infrastructure projects, prepare for some of the parking and also the concrete aprons that serve the receiving doors. Uh, as you can also see by this image here uh, is a comparison between December and now of a couple of different perspectives of this particular building so you can see the progress that's made uh, in just about uh, three months or so since I uh, started covering this on a monthly basis so pretty cool there's another update that I want to show you it's actually right behind me here and what you're seeing is boring tunnels that uh, connect the two facilities the boring company across the street under the street is the tunnel and then it connects the SpaceX facility. Now right over here you can see that there is a completed tunnel already but here right where all the earthwork is going on a second tunnel is starting to emerge from the ground and as you can see by this image from an aerial perspective this is how this area appears and when we get over and cover the boring company I'll show you a little bit more about where this is originating and how that process is going so without further ado let's go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll resume this intro from the boring company so as you can see I've turned the camera around and moved just a little bit across the road from the SpaceX facility to over here where the boring company uh, is located and as you can see behind me the proof rock ring of concrete and the, the name this is the main entrance to this facility now there's a couple of updates that I want to talk about here since my previous video first of all is as you can see by this image here the proof rock second tunnel is well underway being bored underneath the road to connect the SpaceX facility. In fact, you can see the tunnel here. You can see kind of the conveyor belt area that brings the uh, excavated dirt out of the tunnel and then over to this large device that redirects all of that dirt into a collection area so that it can be uh, uh, picked up and discarded from the site. Now this tunnel has progressed quite a bit since the last time we were out here and as you can see here there's a few comparison images uh, so you can see what this looked like in December and now so about a three month period of time and documenting the changes that are going on. One other thing that I want to show you as a change and particularly since the last time we were out here is over at this uh, site. Uh, outside of the main fence of the boring company we can see a new structure is under construction in fact most of the steel superstructure is completed and now they're starting to put the external walls and also uh, soon we'll start seeing the roof not sure exactly what this facility is but it's interesting to see the continued progress but overall this is uh, I think a good intro for what you will see at the SpaceX facility and also here at the boring company as well so as always thank you very much for watching I hope that you found this intro helpful so let's get into the drone video and see what it looks like from the sky a special thank you to all of my outstanding patrons for your continued encouragement and support patreon members get access to hundreds of high resolution photos previews of the future material and direct dialogue with me if you would like to support my channel please consider becoming a patron using this link which is also in the video description please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well thank you
It's a beautiful day to fly here in Bastrop, Texas. We start off looking at the Boring Company facility. On the left hand side of the screen you see that new building that has uh, come up within the last month. In February we saw the foundation being constructed. Now it looks like most of that superstructure and even some of the wall panels are going up. As we continue to fly along the west side looking back at the Boring Company proper within the fenced section you can see how some of the rains that we've had in the recent days have kind of uh, made it a little bit of a muddy mess on the uh, front part of the facility but the rest looks like it's in really great shape. See that large hangar or warehouse on the left and this sort of rounded top Quonset hut like structure. You can also see the round proof rock ring which is the main entrance and some of the other materials, some of the concrete sections uh, put out on the uh, foreground. Now what we see here on this side is first next to these telephone poles we see that tall uh, white structure with kind of those X's and diagonals. That's part of the machine and conveyor system that uh, removes some of the dirt from the bore. And we'll see another one um, set up for operation in just a second. But we can also see here both of the boring tunnels. One is painted in white and you can see that door right next to that yellow crane. The other one is here on the left hand side of the screen and it's actively being uh, drilled and you can also see kind of that black and white conveyor system on top which is what pulls that dirt out from the bore. Now both of these tunnels go underneath the road and re-enter right next to the main entrance of the SpaceX facility. Now here you can see that white structure with those X's and diagonals and that kind of that black conveyor and you can see how the dirt would uh, be pulled out along the uh, length of that section from the tunnel up to this device and then it turns at 90 degrees and then pours that dirt into this collection area and then it's later on removed. But I think this is a really good view of how this operation works and how that tunnel appears today. So we'll continue to pull back. You can see in this tent, you can see some of those drilling heads for the boring machine and also inside as well. And also we can see some more of the facility and that red and white striped section is quite interesting. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but if you happen to know, I'd like to find out in the comments of the video. So let's continue to look around the site. We'll pull back further towards the east and we'll reveal a little bit more of the Boring Company facility today. As you can tell here on the east side, this is where some of the housing complexes are located. These are used for the workers while they're here on site. Since many of them travel long distances, this really makes it easy for the workers and sometimes their family members as well. You can also see on the north side fence next to these four houses, there's another clearing that's opening up. Looks like they may be preparing to add another structure here. It could be more of the housing or maybe it could be something else. You also see this infield um, on the left hand side. It's quite open. That could be some room for further expansion of the facilities. Now this large warehouse is about eight months or so old. It's a relatively recent addition to the facility and it adds quite a bit of capability for the boring company and most of its facilities. As I pull back away towards the north a little bit more, we'll get a chance to see this side of the facility and also that new structure coming in from the right hand side of the screen. And I'll pause here so you get a chance to take a look down into the structure and see how the overall construction appears today. It does look like all of the steel superstructure is completed. So it should be pretty rapid that we'll see the roof installed and then they can start fitting out uh, whatever equipment that goes into this facility. 
So now let's turn our attention across the road to the SpaceX warehouse and Starlink facility. And what you see is the structure is pretty much complete, uh, almost ready to start moving equipment and other items into the facility. Most of the effort now is on the grounds around the facility to prepare for concrete aprons in front of the receiving doors and also some asphalt for parking and driving areas. Uh, this, what you see in the middle of the screen, is the remaining of the materials and equipment and vehicle staging locations. You can see there's a few tanks, these gray tanks on the left-hand side. Not sure exactly what those are for, but uh, uh, overall, this is a much more organized facility uh, and the site than what we saw just three months ago. As I pull away a little bit, you can see these barns and other structures nearby. This is part of the land that was purchased and it's just sort of sitting idle at this particular moment in time. I don't know what SpaceX's plans are for the future. As we wrap around to this side of the building, you can tell a couple of things. One, the prepared area where the concrete and asphalt will be and some roadways. And two, this new structure and this circular pad has been added since the last time we were here in mid-February. So that's a pretty recent addition as well. On this end of the building, we can see some receiving doors on the right-hand side and a very large one, and also quite a bit of concrete and framework for more of the concrete receiving aprons and also, again, for more of the asphalt. So I would suspect that since they are trying to get this facility done by the end of this month, uh, perhaps in the next week or so, we should start seeing uh, quite a bit of that uh, uh, concrete and asphalt being laid down to allow this facility to become uh, operational or at least to be able to start moving the equipment in. As I pull back along this side, this is a really good view of how this uh, side of the building is being prepared for that work on the ground. I know a lot of people keep asking, are they going to put solar panels on the roof? I don't know. Uh, it would make sense, but uh, perhaps it's just not part of the priority at this particular point in time but it'll be something I continue to monitor. As we get to this corner of the building, that iconic black uh, raised section with the glass front end is uh, very much becoming kind of a uh, indicator or a, uh, a feature of SpaceX type buildings. And also you can see here the completed boring tunnel on the right. And then that kind of dirt section uh, with the ramp coming up, that is where the proof rock uh, device is actually starting to exit the ground. So that's where the second boring tunnel will be. And some people ask, why would there be two boring tunnels? I would think most likely to facilitate two-way traffic uh, to and from the boring facility. But uh, I'll turn around here, try to take advantage of some of the lighting and give you a good view of how these boring tunnels appear today what their configuration looks like. Again, in that uh, uh, kind of a pit next to those machines that are uh, moving, you can see the part of the uh, proof rock machine sticking out of that uh, dirt pile. And I think that they're making this a ramp so that they can complete the boring on this particular side. When it's done, it should look very similar to the other boring uh, tunnel on the left-hand side. And if you look across the road, you can see the entry points of both of those tunnels as well. So that's a quick tour of both the Boring Company and the SpaceX sites here in Bastrop, Texas. I'll do a pull away and uh, gain some altitude just to give you an idea of uh, how close they are located, what this site looks like, and also appreciate all of the green that is starting to uh, emerge because of spring and all the rains that we're having. I hope that you enjoyed this tour around these two sites and the information that I presented. As always, thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.